Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be covering an SAT math problem that you might see um, that is similar in trend to those final questions in Module 2 Math. And that's where these quadratic problems can't just be plugged into Desmos to solve them, right? You can't just plug them into Desmos and find the minimum, maximum, x-intercepts, whatever. You actually have to know kind of what you're doing here. So it says the function f is defined by the standard formula quadratic, a, b, c are constants. Um, when it's graph, it passes through these points. So these 2.70 and negative 30, these are the x-intercepts. Uh, it says if a is an integer greater than 1, which of the following could be? So could means that there are multiple possible values, but just based on our selections here with our choices, which one could be a value of a plus b? So first off, let's just write what we know. So we know f of x is our function, and a is an integer greater than 1, except we don't know what it is, right? So let's just write a to represent it. However, what we do know are the roots, and that is 7, 0, and negative 3, 0. So when you have these coordinate points as solutions, you can rewrite them in their factor form. So 7, 0 can be rewritten as x minus 7, because when you set this equal to 0, you solve and get positive 7. And negative 3, 0 can be rewritten as x plus 3. Right, that's interesting. But now to actually expand this out and actually get a value for b, what you might realize here is that we need to actually have a value for a, right? So it says a is an integer greater than 1. Well, what's an integer that's right above 1? Well, 2. So I'll just have a value of 2 for a. So then we have 2 times x minus 7, and then x plus 3. So now we can just expand this out. So let's just do this part first. So we have x squared, and then we'll get negative 4x, and then minus 21. So then we have to apply the 2 right here to the outside. So then we have to multiply this entire thing by 2. So then we get 2x squared minus 8x minus 42. Right, there we go. So it says, which of the following could be a value of a plus b? Well, which ones are a value, which is right here, a value, and our b value right here. So our a value is positive 2, and our b value is negative 8. And if we add those together, positive 2 plus negative 8 is just 2 minus 8. That's going to give us the answer choice of A, and therefore A is going to be our answer.